Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. If you have ever wished Plex could automatically switch audio and subtitle tracks like Netflix, you are in the right channel. Uh, in Plex, it could be frustrating when you change your audio and uh, subtitle settings, the setting won't carry over to the next episode, so you have to change it every time. Today, I'm going to show you how to install and set up Plex Auto Language on your Synology NAS. These steps will also work for other NAS devices or Plex servers as far as you have Docker installed. Let's dive in. First, you need to gather some information about your Plex. We need two pieces of information from your Plex. The first is the URL of your server. So it's generally the IP address plus this port number. So let's write it down because we will need it later. The second thing we need is Plex token. This is the official guide about how to find the token. I will put the link in the description of the video. Now let me show you how to find it. So you just need to open a local file or local video. On the right bottom corner, you have three dots. And if you click on it, you can go to Get Info tab. And here you see View XML button, click on it. You can see this address. And if you go to the end of it, you see we have an XPlex token. And this value is what you need. So we also need to write it down somewhere. OK, that's it. That's all we need from Plex. Let's dive in the fun part. We need to install the Plex Auto Language through Container Manager. First, we need to go to the registry and download the Plex Auto Language package. When you search it, you can see the result here. And uh, it's a good idea to open the Docker page so you get detailed instruction on how to install your Docker image and how to run it. There's also the configuration settings at the end of this page, which we'll use later. Let's go ahead and download it. We want the latest version. It takes a few minutes to download. Now you can see we have the image. We need to create a project. Here, let's click on the Create button. The project name will be Plex Auto Language. We need to create a folder and the doc directory. Let's do it with our file station. And you can see under the root directory, we have a Docker folder. This contains all the previous Docker container I have installed. And uh, we needed to create a folder and uh, Docker. Let's go to create a folder. And the name would be Plex Auto Language. And the uh, end of this folder, we will also need a config folder which will contain the configuration of the application. So while well, we are here, let's also create this folder, config. So we can now exit the file manager. We use the path that we just created. You can either upload your doc file, or you can create one directly through the UI. In the official Docker page, you can see the configuration here. So I will create it directly here. Let's look at this very simple configuration. The service is named Plex Auto Language. Then we want the latest image. This part is important. Basically, you want to map the configuration for the application to this local folder. This is the folder we just created on our Synology NAS. Make sure the first part is correct. On my NAS, it's volume one, but it could be different on your server. The restart just tells us that it will automatically restart next time when you restart your NAS or your server. It will keep running until you stop it. 
I will include it in the description below. Let's go to the next step. You don't need to change anything here. Before we can start the project, we need to create the configuration file. The configuration is explained on this Docker page. You can find the, the description for each setting. You can pretty much use the default settings for most of them. You do need to set the correct Plex URL and the Plex token with the information we gathered at the beginning of the video. I don't use notification, so I will delete this part. I will post my settings to the description of this video. Let's go ahead to create this file. I use Mac Fender to navigate to my NAS. I will use my text editor to create this file. Make sure you replace this URL with yours. Replace this with a real Plex token. Let's save this file to the correct location. The name should be config YAML. And we need to choose a Plex auto language config and save it here. We're ready to start. Going back to container manager, let's start. When you see exit code zero, that means we have successfully started the application. We can look at the log. Everything looks fine. Next time when you change the subtitle or the audio of your TV show in the log, you can see that your change will apply to all the episodes, not just the one you are currently watching. And that's it. You now have Flex Auto Language running on your Synology NAS, give you that seamless Netflix style experience in Plex. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Let me know in the comment if you have any questions. Happy streaming. Bye.